This woman has been living with me and Aline for the last four months. And today I want to tell you her story because she may be the craziest roommate you will ever have. Everything she does is eco-friendly. She does not waste a single piece of food no matter what. She keeps rotten food in my fridge. She doesn't throw it away. She keeps it for compost and she deletes her emails every day just to save energy and data from remote servers. I kid you not. Let me introduce you to Lorena. Hi, I'm Zaili. I'm Lorena and I care about the environment a lot. In my life, I've met many people who cared about the environment, but Lorena is next level. She is on a mission to reduce as much waste as possible. First, she showers really, really fast with cold waters in order to save water and energy. She also collects water from her showers to reuse it when she goes to the toilet. You don't need clean water for the toilet. So why not just use water from the shower? Every unnecessary email she gets, she deletes from her inbox because apparently that is more eco-friendly. They're taking up too much server space and energy. She steals all her friends' food waste. From the leftover water bottle to the half-eaten fries to the sauces to make sure none of it goes to waste. We waste one third of all the food we produce. And it's not just that food, it's everything needed to make it. She carries a hand kerchief <laughs> that she washes daily. This way, I don't waste tissues. She refuses to use plastic no matter what. Because plastic doesn't biodegrade. It just turns into microplastics and keeps on polluting. She brings her own cutlery and containers everywhere she goes. Just in case there's any leftovers, I don't want to ask for single-use plastic. Her deodorant is a rock, not a stick. Because apparently, rock deodorants are more eco-friendly. It lasts longer and it means no plastic waste. She contacts companies to tell them what to change about their products. If you all tell them what we don't like, maybe they'll change it. Of course, she doesn't buy fast fashion, only second hand. Fashion industry is one of the most polluting ones. This way, I extend the clothes life. She collects used oil in a bottle and recycles it. One liter of oil can pollute 40,000 liters of water. She brings her own food to weddings and at Christmas. When there's no vegan options. Because, of course, she doesn't eat meat. I'm vegan for the animals, but animal agriculture pollutes more than the whole transport industry. Going plant-based is one of the biggest actions we can take to reduce our impact. Because of the way she is, she almost got sued and almost got fired. But none of this was gonna stop her. Once I almost got sued by a big soda company because of what I was saying about plastic. And I once almost lost my job because I wouldn't automatically give straws to the customers. And then I started my own channel, Sustentofila. Sustentofila. This video is not about the environment or being green and it's not even about Lorena. <laughs> this is about an idea. Some people live on planet Earth and make it worse, while other people live on planet Earth and make it better. And we all should be part of the second group of people and not the first. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Nas Daily. Nas means people in Arabic, humans. And we are on a mission to show you the stories of humans from all around the world. I'm actually very excited about the videos we're working on. So please, follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you don't miss a video. We think everybody in the world should watch them. Thank you and see you soon.